Seeing the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights is a once in a lifetime experience. However, we're getting better chances to see it more often. Meteorologist Aaron Myler is here to explain why that's happening and how you can see it. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, you both. Yeah, you guys are right. The Northern Lights, like most of our weather, happens because of the sun. Now, an eruption on the sun disrupts Earth's magnetic field and then interacts with our atmosphere. Those interactions with other elements give us the different colors we see in the sky or the northern lights. The Aurora Oval is always present at higher latitudes, but these eruptions on the sun cause that oval to expand and move further south. That's why we've seen the Aurora more often. NOAA Space Prediction Weather Prediction Center Program Coordinator Bill Murtaugh says the poles of the sun switch polarity every 11 years, which results in more sunspots and thus more Aurora. So we're seeing this increase in sunspots now and uh, we're going to see more and more of these eruptions over the next several years and then the poles reestablish north and south, things quieten down and we'll go through several years with hardly any eruptions. But with more sunspots means more eruptions, with more eruptions means more northern lights. It's as simple as that. Solar activity is expected to reach its peak sometime in the next two years, meaning more chances to see the northern lights. The Space Weather Prediction Center has a website where you can get a general idea on when they will be visible next. Now, they don't have the forecast down to the hour, but the sun is 93 million miles away from us, so the fact that we have a forecast at all is still quite the feat. We'll have that link on our website a little bit later this morning. Meteorologist Aaron Myler in the studio, New Center, Maine.